Hello YouTube, I'm currently at Kettle Ness. I'm going to have a look at the alum quarries and hopefully get into the abandoned train tunnels but we'll see how it go. Um, I'm just at the old railway station at the minute, just waiting on a friend of mine and then I'm going to get going. So if you like the video give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, thanks very much for watching. This station was opened on the 3rd of December 1883 and served the village of Kettleness. It closed on the 5th of May 1958. After walking down to the cliff edge we started the walk down to the site of the Alum Works. Construction of these works started in 1727 and the first alum was produced in 1729. The works ran until 1871 but had closed and opened back up numerous times. There isn't much to see here anymore, the only things to really see are a few of these stone channels used to transport liquids. The building foundations found on the end of the cliff edge. And these remains of an old cistern. We just got back up from the alum quarries. There wasn't much to see down there at all, so we're gonna make our way towards the train tunnels. I'm absolutely shattered. Carrying this thing up. This is Kettle Nest Tunnel and it was situated on the Middlesbrough to Whitby coastal line. Right, well this is inside the train tunnel, just wanted to show people that I've actually got a hard hat on instead of going in crowd. So, going into hell supposedly. Kettle Ness is a relatively short tunnel at only 308 yards with a sharp curve to it. It also has an access tunnel leading off to the cliff edge which is rumoured to be an old jet mine. The amount of jet in there makes me believe this to be true. The rail line that ran through it was originally intended to travel along the top of the cliffs but some of the cliff fell into the sea whilst construction was suspended so the North Eastern Railway constructed the two tunnels, Kettleness and Sands End. Have a look at that on the way back. Right, we've got over that, just in the middle of the two tunnels now, so I'll start the video up when I get to the next tunnel and then we're going to explore this one and then walk back and explore the other one. So this was where the track would have been, the train going from here, oh, as you can see it's overgrown now.
and that's the sand's end side with the bent tracks and this one's collapsed at some point because it's on the floor yeah so those rails were holding the roof up I've just bent them this is Sands End Tunnel. This is the longer of the two tunnels being 1,652 yards long. There are a total of five air shafts that were all capped in 1958. Two of the air shafts have access tunnels leading off to the cliffs which were used to dump spoil while carving out the tunnels. It's not recommended to access these tunnels due to their poor condition and they have not been maintained since they were abandoned in 1958. I don't know why they've shut this because it's completely stable apart from this part here. Oh god, I'm slipping. Now you get the idea how deep that is. Well I did say I would do an underground video, I know this is only a straight tunnel but technically it's still underground <laughs> so that's the, the week's video
that's not it, is it? Dude. Mm. Look at that, five more wellies on to be in there. No way I'm going in with these on. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. You get a look up this shaft. I don't think I'll bother. I'll get drenched. Get the picture of that uh, access tunnel. Alright, so there's two access tunnels in here, not one. Right, so we're gonna head back out now over the clams, get some pictures on the way back and go and see the mine part of the tunnel. God my face looks fat with a strap. Jesus Christ. As you can see, not that tall this. I can't get a decent picture. I've got no battery left, so we we'll just have to use some old photographs of that, I think. So, is this tunnel that I said we come back to from the first tunnel, the cat on this end? This is actually a, a jet mine converted into an access tunnel, so we're going to have a look in here. still see bits of jet in the walls back over. Uh, look, more jet and there's a huge theme of it More jet as you can see, but there it goes out to the cliff edge, but I'm not going to bother walking down there because it's pointless, so it comes out to an end, so head back. A bit low in here. Bend right over. About that is it there. There's a piece right there. Very flaky. See, it just crumbles in there. And 
there again. It's just crumbling in my hand. Going down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, so that's the end of the video. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. And I'm hopefully going to get another video done by Monday. Hopefully another underground trip. Um, also, when you check out my friend's page, uh, she's called Ben and Sands. She's from America, I think. And she does a lot of exploring videos of mines and museums. It's really good. So if you go and check her out, that'd be great. I'll put a link in the description. So thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one.